them come in, come in, come in. This is Tamika Den. I'm Tamika. Get on in here, y'all. Get on in here. Kick off your shoes and relax your feet. You are now in the den. So, guys, this is my review recap. Quick thoughts. What can the damn say to the damned? Okay, interview with a vampire, season two, episode one, y'all. I've been wanting to talk about this. I know I am behind. Okay, life was lifing, but dear God, I'm here. I'm here. And we gonna get all into it, y'all. Um, let me start off by saying, listen, I love Interview with a Vampire. I did not get to review the first season, but I was definitely watching. And this was one of the many shows that I sometimes come across. I'm definitely that person that is like, why are we remaking a movie into a TV show? A movie into, you know, a TV show into movie. Some things need to be left alone. But baby, they had me at hello. Okay, I'm all the way here for Ludia. L for Louis, Claudia, Lestat, okay, Armand, Daniel, all of it, okay, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, give it to me, and in this episode, we basically picked up where we left off where we know that, you know, Armand and Louis are sitting down to talk to Daniel, of course, Armand really ain't for this interview, he don't like Daniel, and Daniel don't like him, and we don't even try to, you know, fake the funk or act like we like each other at all, we really don't want Louis to do this interview at all, but he is doing it, and we are kind of getting things through Claudia's lens. This is Claudia telling the story, right? And her accounts of what happened when they was in the quest to find the old world vampires. And we are doing this at the backdrop of the, you know, being in Europe during World War II. And so, of course, Louis and Claudia still don't see eye to eye. They still night and day. They still arguing. They still giving the foolishness foolery of it all. You know, we still being haunted and tormented by the stat and his damn ghost, okay? Because we feel like we took him out even though we done took out 7,000 people baby okay the one that hurts me the one that clings to me the one that I feel like is the most devastating and that is a death that I took is Lestat okay says Louis even though it's semantics and it probably isn't that way but that's the way that we feel and we also have the same two people in a certain situation however comma we look at it in two completely different ways right some things claudia sees one way louis is seeing it another way he doesn't have all his memories supposedly he doesn't have all the pages in the book because some of the pages are missing but we are going to believe and trust what claudia says if claudia says she wasn't dreaming then it must be true right and as they're going on, we basically, of course, have Claudia, baby. She don't care. She's taking out this one, that one, the other one. You know, one minute we acting like we brother and sister. Next minute we acting like we father and daughter. We doing what we got to do. We hiding under damn holes and grounds. You know, we coming out and Claudia is having the daggone soldiers teach her different languages and basically get whatever they need to get to get where they need to be. And we come across this lady that ends up helping us not too long after we see these daggone, you know, soldiers shooting into coffins. And we keep getting clues. We know that Claudia wants to find the old vampires. That's all she care about right now. Because she said every damn other vampire I've been meeting been raggedy, okay? And I've been across four of y'all. And I'm sick of it, okay? And so we on this hunt and we like, wait a minute, lions, tigers, bears, now my. So no, what she was saying is like garlic on all the doors is crosses. You know, these is all the signs that it got to be vampires around whereas Louis is kind of like girl whatever okay of course it's going to be vampires around when this is a place where they have legends and history and story of vampires what do you think so the soldiers is walking with garlic and then what are seeing them shooting up the coffins we like why would they be doing that and so we get brought back to this bunker where there's people and there's soldiers there and she gets into the back with the kids because it's like, you know, kids talking, kids and say things that adults won't. Maybe you should go back there, right? And as she goes back there, she finds a back entrance and she does come across something that, baby, I don't know what the hell it was looking like, okay? Because the first one they found was dead and was turned into damn dust. It was bones there. This one looked like it should have been dead, but it was still walking around and it actually was like if it couldn't really get the blood. And there is a point where Louis is saying like, this war has made made the blood bad right i can't even get warm i can't think i can't sleep i can't do a damn thing and he literally was having to have a two-person conversation and act like he was 
you know, Claudia answering him back because she was absolutely not paying him no mind. But nonetheless, I digress, moving right along. She's calling herself teaching this creature. Like, this is the way you do it and giving him an example. And then she comes back to tell Louis, Louis about it. And he's still basically saying, girl, that's not what you've seen, okay? It could have been a snake. It could have been a dog. It could have been a bear. I don't know what the hell it could have been. It could have been a chihuahua. She like, boy, stop playing in my face. I know what I saw. But, of course, he does not agree with her, you know? And in the midst of this, before... She gets his attention to get him back there claiming to have broke her arm in order for him to come back so she could let him know the update. You know, the woman that brung him there, husband was like, stop playing in my damn face. You keep showing around this picture saying that that's your wife. That ain't your damn wife because she would be old as dirt right about now. She wouldn't be married to you and she wouldn't be able to have a damn child that age. So stop, you know, playing in my face and kind of called him out on that. But Louis brushes that off too. Now, in the midst of all of this, Louis starts to get memories where he's like nah some of this stuff Claudia is saying in this book ain't right because she said she couldn't dream but I'm telling you I woke up and saw her dream and she was definitely having a dream and we were awoken by screams because something done went down and the lady done got bit and we had to get the hell on up out of there but before we did I remembered her dreaming and not only that she claims that the lady talked about why the soldiers was you know taking out people or shooting dead people that's in the coffins he's like nah she didn't say that part in front of her she thought she was a child so she didn't say that until she walked away so all of this is very interesting right now in the meantime daniel keeps playing in their face too being sarcastic being facetious you know messing with rashad and all of that kind of stuff and, you know, he's like, if you're going to tell me about being a vampire, then tell me, okay? Don't have to ask the story and be around here pussyfooting. And, like, get to the bottom of it. One minute you saying you want to tell me about being a vampire, but the next minute you really not being truthful. And so before they're going to bed, him and Armand have a conversation where he's like, I want to see those other pages. I'm not going to show it to him. It's not about him, but it's for me and my memory because some things is not right about this. Some things I really don't remember. And us talking about this and me reading it is kind of jarring up my memory and Armand tells him you know you are still that person that boy is still inside of you you will get back to him or whatever and we kind of have like a little closure a little bond you know we realizing that you know hey how do you know I know because I've been with you for over 70 years okay so if anybody knows you it's me and when we come back out to Daniel we come out now as a united front whereas before Armand was like yeah I ain't got it to do and didn't want to be bothered and really didn't want to be there it's like even if if I don't want to be here, I'm going to be here because my boo is here and I'm going to give him that support. And if he want to tell you whatever he want to tell you, I'm going to tell you too. And that's what we going to do. So Daniel's still kind of being sarcastic, like, oh, good morning. You know, all right, now I got two of y'all. It's an interview with Louis and Armand. But when Armand starts talking, I found it funny that, you know, he wanted to cut him off. And of course, like I said... Louis has still been seeing the stats ghost. He's pretty much telling him, like, boy, are you happy? Do you feel like you did the right thing? You know, is this what you really should have did? Um, are you still willing to risk it all for Claudia? And he's like, yes, I am. And he was like, really, are you or are you just trying to say that? So now they come across now what she originally seen and Louis could see it for himself. But he like, baby, that ain't the vampire, okay? We ain't the same. You know, we over here might have the, uh, okay, on our team or whatever, you know, the fangs. But baby, we ain't the same at all, okay? I'm me, you, you, and he's him. But we still was trying to talk to this creature but the creature wasn't trying to hear us he didn't like us he was giving us attitude and then he decided he was gonna run up on louis, louis and of course claudia had to try to protect him and in the midst of that we didn't know it at the time but his mama done ran up okay and she done got pissed off and she done got jumped into it too and decided to jump on top of louis and at this point we fight and you know as a fight is a fight so louis done poked this damn <laughs> damn creature eyes out mama got pissed and told them like this is a child why the hell would you poke, you know, poke a child's eyes out? I said, Mama, you should have led with that, okay? You should have came and tried to calm things down and have a damn conversation before then, but you didn't, so now we here, you know? And she basically takes out the son and then you know we gonna go ahead and follow her home we could clearly see that she walking slow claudia's amazed because she like oh my god is a woman vampire right yes we going with her reunite you know we gonna be a family okay 
Child, I don't think so because we give mama the breakdown. We let her know what's been going on in these streets and the fact that this blood is bad over here. And we like, well, maybe we could take you back with us. And mama said, that's a no for me, dog. Okay, I'm sorry. You know, Claudia tried to offer her some blood and she threw herself in the fire. So, of course, now we all depressed and feeling down like, damn, we found some damn vampires. But we lost them just this freaking fast. And, you know, Louie is trying to reiterate, tell her, get her back up. Like, nah, I'm not gonna see you down like this. Yeah, life is hard, life stinks, life, you know, could be a bunch of damn bull crap, but no matter how bad that it get, is me and you okay together, we as one. I'm not leaving you, you not leaving me. You know, if I make a mistake, if you make a mistake, we still gonna be together, we still gonna make it do what it do. And she's like, you know, you for real, you mean it? And he was like, yeah, and we not gonna stop looking for these vampires, we gonna find them, even if we have to go to the end of the damn world. And, of course, you still have the stat looking like, go ahead, tell her them damn lies if you want to, okay? It sounds like you trying to make yourself believe this, too. <laughs> and I have to say, y'all, I love some horror. I love some vampire zombies. Don't matter, okay? Give it to me, give it to me, give it to me. Well, one thing I don't like is no daggone rats, okay? I don't want to see them in person. I don't want to see them on the screen. When Louis be picking up them rats and draining them blood, ooh, child, mm-mm. Y'all can keep that part, but the rest of it, I love it. Anyway, y'all, tell me what y'all think about this episode, what y'all thinking about this season so far. Okay, put it in the comments. Let's talk about it down near. Give me a wave. Let me know you came by. Put some flames up in the sky. Like, comment, share, subscribe, 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 y'all. Till next time, to live.